Local students making an international impact on youth and police relations. Only Action News Jack's Ryan Olson explains the difference the EVAC movement program is making. Brazilian officials met with students in the EVAC program in a classroom here at Lee High School. And I'm told the talks went so well, the students were invited to speak in Brazil this fall. Students and staff tell me Brazilian intelligence officials visiting the United States made it a point to stop by Jacksonville's Lee High School Thursday. Like they came all the way from Brazil just to talk to us. Like they could have been anywhere in the world. Among those in attendance were the director of intelligence and the federal chief of police. They were here to speak with EVAC movement students about building positive relationships between police and kids in their community. Vincent Waugh is one of the EVAC students who helped with planning. We're not taking a blind eye to the problems that face us. We're looking to make actual change, and that's, that's the difference for this generation. EVAC co-founder Amy Donofrio tells me the leaders were engaged from the start. They weren't here to guest speak to the youth. They were here to listen, take notes, and learn. The U.S. Department of State invited the leaders to get an inside look at our government in order to improve relations. Jason Wells of Global Jacks, a local organization dedicated to bringing world leaders to our area, made the request for the leaders to come to Lee High School. It was a very honest and very real conversation. Um, you know, the, the kids don't hold back. They, they say it exactly how they see it. Our city's kids are brilliant. They, they have the capability to do that international and right here at home. And we should let them. Ryan Nelson, Fox 30, Action News Jax.